Hi, my name is Chris Burrow. I'm the associate winemaker for Toomey, Oregon. I'm standing at the very top of our Prince Hill Vineyard at about 767 feet, uh, just outside our tasting room. Uh, just behind that is a grove of fir trees and perhaps the most picturesque spot on the property. Uh, on a cloudless day, one can look to the east and see the Cascade Range along with Mount Hood and Mount Jefferson, to the west out to the Coast Range, and then for miles and miles to the south down the Willamette Valley. Uh, our tasting room we opened in February of 2020 uh, after a pretty substantial remodel of Dick Erath's former guest house. Uh, when guests arrive, they're greeted by our tasting room manager, Ross Brooks, uh, and they get to try our Oregon wines side by side with their California counterparts, uh, which is kind of a unique experience for Oregon. I'm standing out in Prince Hill Vineyard on what's turning out to be a pretty typical Oregon fall day. Uh, this 36 acre site is pretty special because it's kind of a piece of Oregon wine growing history. Uh, this was Dick Erath's home site. Uh, Dick, of course, being one of Oregon's wine growing pioneers. Uh, perhaps the most exciting piece of this puzzle, however, is the story of Clone 95 Pinot Noir, or the Lost Clone. Uh, the short version of the story goes like this. Uh, Dick had a friend visiting France, uh, saw some recently pruned vines at Clos de and picked up some of the cuttings and brought them back to Dick uh, and said, hey, you should plant these things. Uh, Dick, being a farmer, did the responsible thing and sent them down to UC Davis just to have them cleaned up and checked for disease just to make sure there's no issues down the line. Um, there's a retirement in there and long story short, these things get shoved in a corner somewhere and kind of forgotten about. Um, a handful of years pass and uh, Dick receives a letter in the mail saying, hey, your plant material is ready to go. Where would you like us to ship this? Um, of course, Dick had it shipped to Prince Hill where he planted a few acres uh, over time and liked the results so much uh, that he planted a few more over uh, the course of years and even grafted some uh, to some previously uh, planted varieties. Um, when we purchased the property in 2017, we liked the results so much uh, that we ended up making it a pretty big part of our uh, Dundee Hills and Prince Hill bottlings. 